super cold lately and icy. We've had rain and then it freezes at night. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like around this farm right now. would you say this is a foot of ice super thick okay so today we're going to bake some Kolok bread. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the ingredients. The first thing we're gonna do is sift together the salt and the flour. The next thing we have to do is make a hole or a well in the center of the sifted salt and flour. The next thing we have to do is cream the yeast with the milk and honey. So we're supposed to use lukewarm milk. So have the milk here. I am going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. I've never made this bread before so this might be an experiment. So the milk is now lukewarm and now we're going to add the yeast and honey. Are you guessing? With this, yes. And then we're going to stir it. Now that we have creamed the milk and yeast and honey, we are going to put it in the center of the bowl. And then the butter needs to be melted, so we're going to put that in the microwave for 30 seconds. So we're going to add two eggs and the yogurt, eggs, and butter all go to the center of the flour. And then you gradually mix this all together to form a dough. Lightly flour, where are you going to roll out your dough? So you have to knead the dough for 10 minutes. How long has it been? It's only been three minutes. Now we have to let the dough rise in a lightly oiled bowl. So I'm adding a little bit of oil to this bowl and you have to cover it with plastic wrap. Lightly oil that also. Put the dough in the bowl, cover it oiled side down, and set it in a warm spot for one and a half hours. Lightly knead the dough again on a gently floured surface like this and then we're going to let it rise again for another 30 to 45 minutes. So you want to punch down the dough and then take it out and lightly knead it into a ball shape like this and the crease side you want down. Make a hole in the center of the dough and you want to make it gradually larger. So now what we're going to do is put it on a lightly greased cooking sheet. And you want to cover it again with that um, lightly greased saran wrap. Then you're going to let it rise again for 35 to 45 minutes. 
So it's risen for the last time, and now I am just preheating the oven to 400 degrees. Going to brush it with egg and sprinkle it with poppy seeds. And put it in the oven. Ta-da! <laughs>